Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Alright guys, welcome to War Room Episode 9. Tonight we're going to talk about the new proposed changes to the matchmaker, public and private matches, and all that jazz. Um, <laughs> it's been a ridiculous night here already, so let's just start. Uh, Bill, introduce yourself, not that everybody doesn't know you already. Hey, I'm Homeless Bill from QQ, and yeah, that's about it. Thanks. Uh, Thanks for that sweet intro, bro. Siri? I'm SJR's Light Lance Commander Siri, and this is my favorite podcast on the interwebs. Oh, oh, oh. bro. Siri's my he's favorite. He's just trying to get more... He's trying to get on here more. That's all it is. He's oh, dude, he doesn't even have to try. No, um... <laughs> Alright, Tony, you're next. Ooh. Hey, it's Antonius Rex from SWK. That's it, that's all. All right, for holidays. Enough. Um, yeah, dude, holidays for real. It's finals time for me. Nanner on your couch. How's it going, man? What's up? I'm Nanner. I play lights. I smash faces sometimes. Get smashed in the face. Where's a hammock? Just generally get I, smashed. I, it's outside. It's cold outside. It and, is. And last but certainly not least, we have Xander Gray. Now, I've got a quick story to tell before you introduce yourself, which is <laughs> last week when you were supposed to be on, um, Trent came to me and was like, we will gift you an MC package if you spell his name wrong on the show. Oh, so that's why you got the uh, last name wrong this time? Oh, shit. I didn't even mean to. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I was going to do it wrong, I was going to spell it Xander Gary, but I, I apparently just don't know how to spell no, but, well, it looks like I get it anyways. All right, go ahead and introduce yourself while I change the overlay quick. So I'm Xander Gray. I'm the XO for Blackstone Knights. Uh, happy to be here again. All right, and tonight, as we have mentioned, we're here to talk about the new changes to the matchmaker and how that's going to affect public matches, private matches, competitive play, et cetera, et cetera. Um... Before that, we're going to talk about the Saber Mechs, the two new ones, and the new map, just a tiny bit, because those are coming out, and, well, I don't personally think that they're going to have much of an effect other than the new map, which is obviously just a new map. Um, they are new content, and so we should talk about that. Does anybody, you guys have obviously probably all seen the new pictures of them? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any, like, thoughts just based on what you saw? Wolverine's got big arms to use for shields. Wolverine's a big, gigantic brick. And those legs. Holy crap. It seriously just looks like a fucking tank. I saw it and I was like, what the fuck is that? I was I, I actually don't really like the way it looks, but I really like the way the griffin looks. Purely aesthetically. They just want to be Shadowhawks. I, I mean... Hold on, let me throw them up on stream quick. Do, 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 do. Is that I honestly, your elevator music? dude, I should get some. I should just be like, Ruffle, fucked Probably up. Should. Let's play some music. Um, well, you'd be able to fill an entire show like that. Oh, dude, I know, right? Half the time this show is on, it's me fucking up. Eh, let's go with seventy-five percent. Um, these are the new mechs. Um, I don't think they're gonna add much to the meta. Do you guys? I wouldn't no. expect it to. I mean, the Wolverine. I don't think so almost comes close, but at the end of the day, you'd rather just have the AC on the shoulder anyway, so it's just a poor man's Shadowhawk. The Shadowhawk is just such a good 50 to 5 ton mech that I have a hard time believing it will be outclassed by either of those. I wasn't thrilled with their hard points either. Well, yeah. the Griffin just kind of sucks. Like, I, I do like the cockpits, the though. Off. It's weaponless. Yeah, I do like how not locusty the cockpits are. That's always good. 
I really wish they'd fix that. It's such a <laughs> shitty mech to play anyway. At this point, uh, trying to fix... It's like shining up a turd. You know, at the end of the day, it's still a turd. I just wish <laughs> there was something for scale on the pictures that they've given us. Like a banana? Like a banana. Mm. Anything but that. Um... I think... I thought there was a picture that was at least on a map that we knew, but I guess not. It would be nice if we could tell... They look like they're about the same size, so I've got to assume that they're just Shadowhawk size. Because they're 55 tonners, they're, you know, same engine size, same jump jet size, all that jazz. I feel like they can't feel be... Like the, the Wolverine is obviously, like, way wider, but... They it's might be know. shorter, but... Like, until you start shooting at them, it's really hard to know, because there were so many people complaining on the forums, like, the Shadowhawk is too big, the Shadowhawk is too big, it's gonna be a piece of shit. And then everybody got a hold of him. We're like, "This is the best mech fucking ever." Shut up. Pretty much. It's still too big. It is, but it's okay because of how much utility you gain from a 55-ton jump sniper. Yeah. Oh, dude, I I, I play in my Highlander again, and I get pissed off, and I just want to be in my Shadowhawk. Oh. Because of because oh, of Praxis, I've been like not playing meta mechs, and so I go into the queue and I like run into really good teams, and I'm like, well, I'm just fucked, because I haven't played a Highlander in ages, or I'm in, like, an Orion or some bullshit. <laughs> I actually have avoided the Shadowhawk altogether, not saying that I don't know what it's capable of or whatever, but I have I have ripped everything out of them and just avoided them. Why? Because I need to focus on lights. Were you in the Hunchback against us tonight? No, that was Thrash. Oh. Because I think in tonight's first match against uh, against Remnant BSK, we, between the two of us, we fielded 14 Shadowhawks in the first round, so... Yeah, yeah. pretty much, pretty much here to stay, I think. Yeah, yeah how, sure. I, I caught the I caught the second game, and then I had to obviously do stuff for the show. How did that go, guys? Uh, BSK beat us. Yeah. <laughs> it went well if you were in BSK. Yeah, look at that smiley, Xander. He's got, the, he's got the Siri face from last week. Siri was fucking... <laughs> Beaming. We added him to the call, and he's just sitting there giggling. He's like, <laughs> "It was great. <laughs> it was good matches. Actually, we had we had a lot of fun." Yeah. Yeah. The the first and the third match. Uh, the first one was really good. The third one turns into a brawl. It was completely our fault. But uh, the second one, they kind of ran away from us, and you know, we felt like, "Oh, oh, BSK is running. That's really weird." <laughs> For those they, of they you, they were up on caps. That was weird. For those just, of you just, watching who don't know, we're talking Xander's about the Remnant like, Invitational. Xander's like, tactics! And we're like, uh, no. We feel like it's <laughs> something else. <laughs> Tactical running away. That's that's what it is. Tactical hey, it can work. It can, but, uh... Yeah. I just point you to the video. Anyone who wants to see what happened. No, it was it was good. They were good matches. It was good. Like, yeah. I was sad I couldn't watch all of them. Um... Unless you guys have much to say about the shadow, the Wolverine and the Griffin. Well, I, I do have something. Oh! I was, I was holding All my right. tongue because we were pulling off topic so hard, but... Yep. Um, like, you compare it to the Shadowhawk, and it feels like these are a lot squatter and fatter than the mm -hmm. Shadowhawk is. Because if you look at the Shadowhawk's model, and I'm going to link it in chat. Um, it's actually... Like, there's a lot of dead space on that. The legs are not really all that fat. There's a kind of a dead space around the armpit area, not a big one, but it, it's kind of spindly. Um, and then you look at these, uh, the Griffin, the Wolverine here, they have really fat legs and they have really fat torsos. So it's very dense mass that if you shoot at it, you're going to hit something. That's true. Yeah, it's going to be hard to miss. Yeah, yeah, like in that picture, look at the, look at that, those side torsos there, just so broad, flat, and... Assuming that the CT hitbox is just that strip down the center, it's going to be much easier to take an XL out on these. Yep. I like. I honestly don't even know like what I'm going to run on them. Because. Yeah. I. Mean, and of course, that's just an impression. We'll mm -hmm. know the final thing when we actually get to shoot at him. But yeah, for sure. But well, I mean, quick, even quick even... survey. How many people here bought one? Yo. Who me? But that's just because uh, I, I knew it was going to be. It. It was yeah. going to be finals time, and it was going to be break, so I wasn't going to have any C-bill income, so... 
twenty bucks isn't that much to spend on two free hero mechs and two other or and four other mechs. Thirty bucks? Was it thirty? Sure, thirty bucks. Yeah. Either way, I mean, I it's, it. it's almost a good deal. You know, thirty thirty bucks for two mechs or well, six mechs actually, but mm -hmm. two hero mechs, four regular mechs. I mean, I yeah. I think I can afford to wait for these to come out. It was within the price range where I was like, eh, I can just pay for these. At the time I bought those and uh, the Phoenix mechs, I was running very few mechs, and now it's like I have an overabundance of mechs, and then they come in, so... <laughs> if SRMs had been buffed, they might actually have gotten that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we, won't, we won't cover Buff, this for the fake? sixth time. <laughs> well, hey, you never know. Uh, by the time they get released to the public, well, we might have us working as rounds, right? Oh, Even God. This is episode 9. I think it's the ninth time we've mentioned it. Yeah, good point. No, the first That's time we just talked like, about a bunch of different leagues. The second... It was, so it's it's only 8. It's only 8. Um, do we do we want to talk the really talk about the really exciting mech screenshot? If I can find it here. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Might yeah. as well. Timberwolf, yep. it's coming. I mean, it's not a fucking surprise. Like, everybody knew. They've they've stated that like this mech's gonna be in the game, et cetera, et cetera. Well, they've stated they have a working model that the devs can play with. Yeah, that was eight months ago. They said that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I totally missed that. I don't know how I missed that, but yeah. First thing I saw was that like Timberwolf image. I was like, holy shit. I like yeah, I was people, so glad that lurker like found still that. Arguing that like. This yeah, is seriously, Timberwolf, like something clearly else, like... it is. Like, why would it not be? Why would it be on Mech Warrior clans? Why would they have taken it down right after? Like, even if this was PGI, like with some troll account that messaged me, which I really don't think it was based on the posting history. <laughs> that would be hilarious. It's yeah, but like even if they did something cool like that, it doesn't matter. Why else would they show anything like this? It's a fucking Timberwolf. Look I... at that with the, especially with the skewed image. It's just. I'm, I'm super excited, personally. I think it looks... That shadow looks really good, and I think the model designers have done a really good job with that shadow. No, I... What do you think they're going to do with the missile pods? Like, do you think they're even going to have them if you don't equip missiles? Or, like, what are they remember... going to do with that? Does anybody remember how they split up damage in the old MechWarrior games between missile pods and shoulders? The shoulders? Or, well, I suppose the problem in this game would be deciding where the armor goes. Because I feel like... If you what? if you give them separate slots, you've got to give them obviously separate armor values from the torsos, and then they'd be really low between the two of them, right? Yeah. So I I honestly don't know how that's going to be handled, and I don't. And then know. do you do the missile pod is attached to the shoulder, so you just aim for the half armored shoulder to take off the arm and the missile pod, like? Right. Yeah. See, tricky. exactly. I don't know how yeah. it's going to work, but obviously this isn't actually that big a news because they told us that they had one. We just got to see it. Now, the only thing I'd say for that picture is if you look at those hands, those hands look like the the laser arm on a cataphract. They're big honking those are things. Fat hands, yeah. yeah. That's why somebody thought it was the oh shit, what was it? The Marauder or something? No, it wasn't the Marauder. Mad Cat? No, it doesn't look like that. Mad Cat is a Well dude, it's just, it... Do you mean the Hellbringer? The, the with arms like an are L big, or right? some shit. That's the only thing you can say that's off of the Timberwolf Mad Cat. Yeah, I mean, as far as as far as the through. missile hitboxes go, I think we just have to sit back and trust that PGI has a good plan for this. <laughs> That's hard to do. I can't tell okay. if you're trolling or <laughs> yeah. not because sometimes you're, you're completely it. serious about shit like that. Well, there's no point in like fussing over it now, like yeah. when they haven't released anything, because it's like, eh, whatever. We'll find out and we'll bitch about it later. There are other things that we know about that are not good now. I was <laughs> it, I, it's I, not like they're going to release that mech anytime soon. I mean, l looking at what they've done, it'll probably be a clan pack. You get, you know, one of every weight class clan mechs. Won't even be mad as long as it's a uh, dire wolf, uh, uh, timber wolf, and then I don't even give a shit what the medium and light mechs are. <laughs> yes, no. Uh, Storm Cree, give me a light mech that I can use. Take don't give me crappy pieces of crap. Oh, wait, before I lied. You, I want before the... you get any of that, you're going to get a champion locust. I want the Puma. <laughs> I've already got one, right? <laughs> How about a Hunchback 2C dual Ultra Auto Cannon 20s? Anybody? Oh, Jesus. With jump jets? <laughs> yes, please. We'll just make, we'll just no make episode 10. Oh, somebody thought it was a Lupus, which is pretty legit. I'll show it. 
Isn't that just like the ghetto Inner Sphere version that was made long, long ago? The arms are fatter, so it's pretty legit, but I don't know. Eh, In whatever. any case. Well, if you look um, at the shadow, it almost looks like there's a regular head rather than the, the catapult head. You know, the big circular thing coming out. So, I, I don't know. That it could be something else. Eh, it's not. I, uh, I saw a rendering of this with a, uh, <laughs> with an urban neck next to it and said yeah that, uh... <laughs> they ever put that <laughs> things that they will make when are they going to give us the urban mech that's what they I want to know they said they weren't never that. fucking never it's never. a terrible mech they, they said never God. so I was running around for a fun drop today in a cicada with an AC20 <laughs> I, actually I saw the screenshot them, other than you how did that go for you in Xander 5 whole damage and 2 kills Oh yeah! Nice. <laughs> Lights already pretty bad about stealing kills. Suddenly even worse. Um, <laughs> That's highly efficient of you. Should we maybe get to our actual topic for the night? Yeah, probably. I've got there was finals. a topic. Yeah, I know, right? It's gonna take a while too, but this is all we're gonna talk about now because uh, I have finals to study for. Not that I don't love Mech Warrior, but get fucked. RL is more important. Ah. Uh, Okay, so the new matchmaker, or, well, it's technically not a new matchmaker, but it's a new lobby system. Do you guys want to do public matches or private matches first? I think public <laughs> should go last, because I think that's yeah, going to be the big point private. of contention. Okay, really? Oh, okay. Uh, private matches. Let's start with private matches. Uh, I think most of you have at least glanced at this within the last two hours, so who wants to... St Siri, I know you want to start. Do you not want to start, Siri? Uh, no. Okay. Um, I like going last, so that's I don't true. You do. You do say like everything. <laughs> um, basically, PGI released a bunch of information for those of you who don't know. Uh, there will be new matchmaking system implemented sometime after UI 2.0 comes out, which, as we just found out today, is supposed to be in January. Um, Supposedly. That's the Allegedly. first time they've put, like, a pretty hard date on something, so I'm going to trust them on it. Uh, basically, so we're getting we're getting matches in a more, uh, in a different way. Public, public and private will be the two new, Jesus, I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, the two new match types, public and private matches. You'll be able to join matches, all that jazz, um... The thing I noticed when I was reading this was that you only get certain abilities with premium match parameters. Right. And I don't know if that's going to be premium time or if that's going to be something completely different. Well, I think it says right in there that for the if the creator has premium booster, read here, spent money. Is that um, but is that premium ahead. time because they've never caused they've never called it anything other than premium time. No, I think it's going to be a separate type of MC purchase, probably. Fuck, man. They had talked about... Go ahead, sorry. Well, I'm going to say that for the, those people who haven't seen it, there are a number of factors or variables you can affect at the beginning when you're in the private ready screen. So without the premium pieces, the only things you can choose are the game mode, which is going to include Assault, Conquest, and the new one, Skirmish, uh, assuming they put that together, too. But the premium ones, which is picking your map, which is critically important for those of us who are playing competitively and want to be able to do that. Tonnage rules, whether or not the teams are going to be even, so it seems like you got to have unbalanced teams. The match time, the view modes that are allowed, those things are all you know listed as premium match parameters. Yeah, the map's the big one. Do you get the premium time to play the game for real? Well, or s so here's what I thought. Well, I, I, I didn't think this. Somebody mentioned it around me, and then I thought about it, and it made a lot of sense. Um, you stole it. Oh, yeah, I totally stole it. I don't know from whom, but <laughs> it's a good idea. These, like, the game is free. We're not paying for anything, basically. So it doesn't make sense to allow certain users to have priority in the queue over other users if they're not paying for it somehow. Because they, like, server space is what's limited right here. So by, by making people who are doing private matches pay for this premium module or whatever the hell it's going to be, then 
they're sort of equaling out the amount it takes to give people preference on the servers, which makes a lot of sense to me. It actually kinda, does make sense. It kind of sucks, but from like a business standpoint, I totally get it. See, I don't... I mean, but it's only, like, one user out of 24 that really has to have it. Like, yeah, that one guy, you know, somebody has to have it, but it's really not that much when you're considering they can support 24 players on that one match just by them having it. Well, it's so not that one bad. One from each team, well, so it'd be two out of 24 or one out of 12. Well, even then, I don't really buy but, it because... I thought it's just the match as creator. As... It's just the creator. Well, According it to is the creator. Right, okay. Well, the, the creator has to have premium in order to get the premium options, the map, the tonnage, right. uh, all those. However, when you, it's what they're saying is that when you launch through the queue, people, teams with a more, ag like a higher aggregate total of premium time Go to the will have priority on the queue. Right. And see, and, and that's the other thing is it's like, so say you guys are launching a 12 man. You're not going to plan out, like, who happens to have premium time at this point. It's just a bunch of dudes are going to have premium time, and whoever has it is going to make the group. So you're going to have one or two guys with premium time no matter what, because every clan has that one dude who just, like, has tons of money and is just like, ha ha Spends a thousand dollars on the game, yeah. Yep, basically. But the difference, too, is that the queue in this case isn't the queue to see if you sync with someone else. It's the queue to see when you get to run your game on their private servers. Mm-hmm. So it's going to affect how soon you get to play, and who knows how long the delays might be. It might not be that consequential. Which, honestly, I don't think is going to be that big. I doubt it's going to be more than, like, five minutes. It, it's certainly not going to be more than the fucking, like, two hours we wait to play a game now. Seriously? So. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't... It just I don't, shouldn't be that but bad. Let's put it this way. If it's ten bucks a month per team to play comp play, private lobby, we'll all fucking pay it. Yeah. Yeah, but... <laughs> like, yeah. done. I don't. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I. I really don't even think it's going to be five minutes. Um, you, uh, most of us. The only uh, problem are... it'll be is if with UI 2.0 and with Community Warfare and all that shit, if the game really takes off and there become you know, if the user base doubles or triples, then it could be a problem. Well, then but they then they'll expand. Look at it they'll, different. Yeah. yeah. But then they'll have made the money that they can expand the server. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. For sure. Siri, you were going to say something. Oh, two points. Unless they deliberately build it to the point where if you don't have premium, it's going to be practically impossible, then you, most people aren't going to spring for the premium anyways. Second point, um, I don't think you need to force everybody to get premium as long as you just make it so that these private matches don't give you C-bills and XP. Because I think part of the concern that they have is that, well, everybody's just going to go play private matches, and they're not going to do the open queues. And as long as you make it so that there's no income from private matches, then that's not going to be the case. See, I don't think there be. will be. And obviously, you need it. You need it to be no income. Otherwise, you could end up with... 12 guys farming another 12 guys or something yeah. like that. Yeah, and you'll see well, if, if the goons still existed in this game in any real sense you, <laughs> I'm sure you would see that, Don't right? say that. Don't say that. They're gonna come back. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> I'm gonna get 30 gonna messages. Busy. Okay, fine. I'm gonna get 30 when messages on my profile from When they come Pete. back, I'm sure they'll do it. Is that better? Squawk? What? <laughs> Squawk? Squawk? <Yeah. laughs> the point being that I'm sure they're gonna make the private lobby no income. There's, so then, there's no reason for them to do it the other way around. How exactly. will? Uh, and so, so what I'm saying is that being the case, I don't really see why it needs to be like that. If they're concerned about it being overused, you know that actually that actually is weird then because that would make sure that that'll make it something completely separate. It won't be premium time. It will be like a premium module. I wonder if it's going to be a one-time purchase or not. It won't be. It'll be monthly. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, you I don't, I don't know. Subscription. Do a drop? Maybe. No. You, you run into, you know, you run into the problem of now you're paying for something to use a service, but at the same time you're not getting paid back. Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of like a, a double-edged sword. But I think in the end they'll probably make it just like a lot of other games have made it, 
which is you don't make anything extra. It's a private lobby anyway. Just like you can't gain ranks in private matches on, uh, you know, StarCraft. It, it's just not going to happen. Or if you do single player, it doesn't count towards your achievements or whatever, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure why you guys think that would be the case. There's no mention of there being any sort of limitation there in what they've put out so far. Yeah, I... The only thing is, I wonder is like of the fact that there will be no income, or just yeah, that there be no income or no. Well, it just it it makes sense. Yeah, they may not have. There's there's not a lot of mention about a lot of stuff that they decide to do. So, (laughs) it's all speculation. But yeah, that's what we're here to talk about is speculation. So I guess you're right. I mean, in that case, Sander, it's just sort of the common sense. Like, if you do give income, then it's going to be a massive friggin' loophole that anybody with two brain cells could exploit. I'm just saying, gonna allow make for the money. possibility, because we're, we're talking about things making sense to us, and at least so far I haven't seen that, so that's all. I, oh, if they screwed that up, that would I don't think they could do that. To me, what it really comes down to is how many servers do they have, how bad are the queue times when everybody is doing league matches. You know, and how much does this premium booster actually affect things, and how much does it cost? Uh, it, you know, they could really milk it out. Like, if they don't have the server space, it's just going to be a huge pain in the ass. Yeah. But if they're not cruel to us, then it will be okay. But it's like, I could totally picture a scenario where sync dropping is somehow still better. Yeah, I, would, I would love to see the percentages of what their 12 man drops are or the numbers of 12-man drops that are actually competitive compared to just pug queues. You know, especially when, say, in the middle of Arhod and Merrick, where, you know, we probably have the the highest number of comp games going on every day. It'd be interesting to see those numbers. I don't know, last night was pretty shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We both, oh, both that was trouble. awful. I spent, um, I spent three hours playing three games, or two games, two games on Sunday night. It was ridiculous. Hey, actually, shout out to the Apocalypse Lancers. Those guys were good sports. We played for three hours. Bang those four games off. So shout yeah, out to them. They were good sports about it. Yeah, anybody who... We all we got it kind of figured out. Eventually, everybody kind of hits up and then it dwindles down. But yeah. it was, Well, we, it we was just got to gotta sync it so that all the comp teams just, you know, do a queue. If only there was a TS where we could all meet up to talk about such things. Oh, I know. Like, Tony, hmm, don't you happen maybe, to have something like that? Star if it happened. Ah, it's like we're it's like, like we're in something like that, and it comes with a website. <laughs> Hold on, let me find it. <laughs> There's a website. The I am Sorry. I am totally interested. It's a nice website too. It's shiny. It has options. It's interactive. <laughs> Do you know the guy that made the website? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> we get it. Merkstar TS and the website are a thing. Let's move on. Sorry about that. <laughs> um. Uh, let's talk a little bit about, I mean, I think we can only do so much speculation about what the premium module will be until they release more information. Uh, I, yeah, I, it's, yeah, there's only much, so much we can talk about. But I was interested in some of the options, specifically max, Actually. match time, even teams. Uh-oh. Yep, sorry, Siri. Just fucking sorry, talk Before we get me. off the speculation. Yeah, go ahead. Um, off that sort of speculation. I do have one sort of last word. Uh, my fears about it are that in order for their monetization model to work, where um, you have to get premium to get into a premium queue and you get ranked ahead of other people, what they're trying to do is create a... They have to set up the number of servers that they have to create an artificial um, supply constraint, right? So, um, yeah. Because if they have too many servers, then nobody will bother spring for a lot of premium time because the wait will be like two minutes regardless. Um, so they're going to deliberately not put in that many servers that we have to end up paying. The problem there is that if off the bat it works out great, then a lot of people who weren't doing this sort of comp drop are going to want to get into it, and then the, the demand is going to spike. And then we're going to be waiting on PGI to fix their supply. So uh, like the old reasonable three to five minutes, say, is now suddenly 15 to 20 because everybody wants to use it. Mm. And then and and so we're there's the fear that it may end up being. The art, they are not going to iterate and handle the artificial constraint well. 
That is actually a really good point. Um, I think it's all going to depend on how we see the premium time implemented, or I don't even know what to call it because they call it like a premium module. The premium module is that what it? Uh, premium well, booster. Does that mean less booster call and then premium booster time? Premium modules? It's a premium booster, is what it's called. Details forthcoming. So it is. It is different. It is different than premium time. They say um, module though. That implies it's a module that you put on your Mac. The, it, it, kind of weird wording. Oh God, yeah. It's on the think, on the right? bottom, yeah. dude. On the bottom, it's if the creator has the premium booster details forthcoming, they will have access to premium ready screen options. So the it command is console <laughs> gives you options. Everybody who actually still owns a command module already has it and gets to play private matches for free. My my That'd be generator, great. I have two. Oh, I I put one on my generator every time, all the time. <laughs> That's why you win so much. That's right. It's, <laughs> didn't you know? That's what that does. Welcome to Troll PGI Hour. Was lying. Last rap, PGI last, was lying. Last Troll Hour of 2013. Um, <laughs> do you guys? Uh, the match time is interesting. The fact that you can have it l be less than 15. It can be... Uh, so, people who are watching... Oh but you God. can also make it more, right? So it yep. goes up to 25 minutes. So, especially to Siri's point about the amount of supply, right? If you get a bunch of people in there and they can only have so many games running and everyone's setting their time limits to 25 minutes, how? what's the impact on everyone else who's waiting in a queue that, you know, there's that much time? I, I think that's pretty excessive. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I think that that's all going to depend because there's no way in hell that an assault mode game is going to go on. Mm -hmm. for you never know. Minutes. Well, if I mean, you sometimes like Alpine or yeah. You really think you could have an assault game? Well, I suppose. Well, if you're just not si not on the new Alpine. If you if you're just sitting there like poking at each other, well, you spend well, five minutes Thermal. regrouping, right? Maybe you'll need that much time on the moon map. Yeah, yeah the moon map. On Terra Therma, you end up, like, every push or thrust you make around... Mm -hmm. Oh, God, that phrasing was terrible. Yeah, um, it didn't sound, it didn't sound very good. Push chat, you know, uh, you know what to do, chat. <laughs> any maneuver that you make ends up taking, like, five minutes. So you really don't have time for more than two or three in a game. And... Yeah. I mean, I've seen comp matches just sit there for 15 minutes, neither side wanting to budge. And so then a somebody guys totally believable that the they could do that for 25. That would be yeah. horrible. 25 Not often minute matches. I can see it. Jesus, my guys would kill themselves. <laughs> well, I mean, like, on Assault on Terra Therma, there are times, like, we have a skirmish that lasts, like, a minute between our lights, and then we have to reestablish our lines, clear all the way back to our base with their scouts, reestablish the scout, and, like, that can take, like, three to four minutes of just making sure that nothing slipped past us and is about to get on our cap. Mm-hmm. I, I think that that will be something that, unless there's, like, some ungodly planet restriction where, like, 25 minutes in, like, Merrick or something like that, where that's a thing, I don't think we'll have to worry about it. But uh, even teams, do you guys think that's tonnage even, or do you think that's players even? Players. Really? Really. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather have players, Ooh. dude. Tonnage limits were just the matches were so more often a role in pug games. Like I pug a lot, and it used to be that eight o roll all the time, eight one all the time. And since but, Elo came in, even with the shitty tonnage imbalances, a lot of times, even with the tonnage imbalance, there will be a good fight. Not always. There's still plenty of rolls, but it is just not as bad as it was. Yeah, it's way better than close well. Better. Back in the day, whichever team got the pug awesome on their team, and the other team had a pro pilot DDC, and you're like. Well, fuck. Yep, game over. <laughs> game over. So, a Siri, you think DDC it's you pilot. think it's gonna be pilots? So, you think you'll have yeah, eleven on twelve games? I think it's pretty clear that it's pilots because you have the one right above it is tonnage rules, and there's no need to say even teams if you already set your min max tonnage that you can have a weight disparity. That's a good point. A good I point. like that. I would love to. That'd be a cool option. You know, it'd be really if you could yeah. do ten on twelve. Because right? then, because then instead of fucking defending a planet with. 12 mechs and somebody buys like a shit ton of commandos you'd be like all right fuck it we're buying we're buying four shadow hawks and four commandos and we're gonna manage to hold this against 12 people you just wait and see or that be cool cards we're talking about adding cards for merrick season three and um that'd be a cool card you know you drop one or two mechs more than the enemy one of those once per campaign cards i think everybody's just sitting here being like oh no 
Merrick is turning into Hearthstone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I play, I play my legendary once per campaign card, and you can only drop with locusts, lol. <laughs> Fireball. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that is how I would get rid of a swarm of locusts. <laughs> you mean Air Arty? That's already in the game, don't worry. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I use fifteen of those around. Bait them, bait them onto a point with an LRM stalker, and then already it. <laughs> GG. Twelve kills, that's thousand so damage. <laughs> um, I like that you're going to be able to pick the map and all that jazz. I think that these are some interesting options. Um, I really like thinking about it being able to have uneven teams. That that could be really fun. Um, well, hey, once we can pick the map. Merrick will be each planet is one map. Yeah, I like that right. too. Yeah. That's gonna be sweet. And we can just name the planet Terrible Therma and be done with it, right? No one goes there. <laughs> oh god. Please make the center planet. Make the center Terrible planet Therma. Terra Therma. Oh, Terrible that way Therma. that way not only will you have to fight extra hard to hold it, but you'll have to be upset the whole time. <laughs> should, like Terra Therma. should have all the have all the restrictions. <laughs> Tony, All restrictions. Tony, assault. At the, at the meeting, and, you yeah. were talking about uh, how to get people to take different attack paths, and that's how. Just put Terra Therma on like certain attack paths. Nobody will attack through there. Don't worry about it. Terra there Therma. you go. Terra Therma on Ter assault, and minimum of 890 tons. Perfect. Perfect. No one, you're right. You just make a unique restriction. Energy weapons only. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, energy weapons only, and the 890 minimum. Yep. But you still have to have 5 max, so good luck trying to get all those assaults in there. I hope you own a Stalker Crap IS. I don't know what the designations are. Yeah, it'd be... But anyways, oh, you better have... Be brutal. Machine guns and flamers only. <laughs> and assault mechs only. Every mech has Ooh. to have a flamer on it. That's the only restriction. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Way to go. You literally can't the campaign. go 30 seconds without going off to... It's <laughs> called, no, called Templar Mode. It's called ADD. <laughs> so, uh, I was going to mention on the news on Monday, but Templars are actually joining Proxus. Start of the new year. Nice. Yeah, so, that's all, exciting. All, and we got... all the teams? They're, uh, they're joining as one Karita faction, I believe. Don't they have like uh... 400 players? Dude, I, I was thinking... Han told me that do. it's only like two. Only like uh, 200. Right? But they are all like... That's like 200 active players. That's not like, we've got 200 players. It's like, no, nah, we've got... Like, it's 200 people. 200 active players, each with five atlases is 1,000. Yeah. So... Uh, Dude, it's been, guys, you know, I, I, was, Templars. I was hoping we were going to get three Templar teams to join Proxus, and we could make them all clan units, and then we could all just have them spawn, and then it would be like the re real inner the sphere. The real clan because, invasion, yeah. Yeah, because then it would give all the other teams, because we're all fighting amongst ourselves right now, it would give all the teams like, oh, we better work together, because these clanners are coming to steal our babies. You know, it'd be sweet. <laughs> Is that what the clanners did? Because, like... They're yeah, stealing babies. You yeah, didn't know that the baby stealing? That's no, the, I had no idea. That's what the clan war was about. It was all about. They took like ten kids in the interview. Was like, you can't do that. No, I'm just kidding. Uh Siri's gonna yell at me for being off topic if I don't get us back on top on on our shit. <laughs> baby stealing. Like Siri, do your job, time manager. Dude, I should just have him on every week for it. Uh okay. So private matches. We pretty much went over all that shit. Now the rough one. Nah. Public matches. It's bad. I was gonna it's say, gonna be such a fucking disaster. Like, Bill and Siri, I know you both had a lot to say. Way to ruin it, Bill. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but it's just a their 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 strategy. Let's for do it this people way. Who haven't... What are you worried about most? Human nature. Yeah, <laughs> like it just relies on people not to be complete assholes for the system to work. They're like, hey, here's a tonnage limit, and uh, you guys figure it out while the C bills count down. Like, seconds, yeah, guys. that's going to be a real fun one. Like, here's here's just, like, my, my you know, case in point, this won't work. People that only have bought, like, a Misery or an Assault Mech or something. You get a bunch of those people on a team. Everybody wants to run an Assault Mech. The time runs out. Nobody wants to switch. Everybody's being a dick. Everybody's swearing at each other in chat. What happens after 60 seconds? Do you just, like, boot half of those people into Trial Mechs, make them pissed off and rage quit the game, like Alt F4 or start TKing? Like, there's just nothing about this that's going to work. It's like the ready screen with so much more violence coming. 
<laughs> what do you think would uh, do you think it would be any better if they had players choosing mechs by Elo? No, 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 no. Because no, then, no, that, no, no, yeah, no. that causes its own sort of problem. Because then you get people going the dick wagging. Because they 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 refuse to release your Elo for that exact sort of dick wagging. No, I'm not talking about like showing Elo. I'm just talking about like you would. Well, if uh, but gets somebody pick, gets fucked. Elo. Well, if Hyatt, yeah. Let's, somebody let's... gets fucked there and doesn't get to play what they want. Like, what about a total newbie or someone that's bad that buys, you know, a heavy metal and wants to play? Well, it's like, well, no, because you're bad and you shouldn't have that tonnage. It's like you shouldn't, but the, you, the, I mean, they're just going to stop playing. They're just going to get what? pissed off and rage quit if they can't do what they want. That's the big part about the system. Someone has to compromise. Someone to... has to not run what they want. To compare it to another game, you look at League of Legends. And I mean, I haven't played that game in like a year and a half, but back when I played, it was like when you went into the public queues and I was always the lowest elo because I was loose shit at that game. And it would be like, oh, I'm fifth pick. Oh, I'm not going to be the support. I literally don't own a support. Well, you got to play it. Well, fuck you. I'm just going to do what I want. And then my team loses, right? Now imagine that with 12 players. Well, even then, like in like, law, <laughs> uh -oh. mid or I feed, support or I feed. Like, all of those. Like, God, take that, expand it to 12, and... It could be problematic. Well, that's what I was going to say. Think about... I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I first started, like, I owned a couple mechs, I owned several, and then I was like, you know what I want? I want to get the Highlander. Uh, I'll get a 733C. And if... And, and I sold all my mechs, literally, for that, that one particular mech. And if I couldn't have played it, I would have been ticked. Just super ticked if I had to play your it. Team. <laughs> yeah, I would. Be like, oh, I'm in a commando because that's all they have for a, that I that I can pick from the trials. No, admittedly, like the idea is a good idea in the you know allowing teams to set tonnages and actually restrict ourselves because that's clearly I think what the game needs to you know create good matches. But it does get tricky. I mean, you've got all these teams who have been spent the last year ingraining the sense that, well, if we're running less than 10 Highlanders, we're doing it wrong. Some of those teams are not going to adapt well. They don't That's own true. anything else. What would you guys say to having it completely random? So you ready up with whatever mechs you have, and Matchmaker takes into account the tonnages you have available with the tonnages your team has available, puts you into a match, and just picks you a goddamn mech, and picks like, everybody on the team a mech. Like everyone puts four mechs, and it makes our team out of the four mechs that mm -hmm. everyone... That yep. would be cool. Based purely that on would be That would be pretty cool. So I've readied up my Highlander, my Highlander, my Highlander. Yes! Yeah, <laughs> yeah but at least you got to buy three Highlanders, right? Yeah, but then... <laughs> unless, so unless, you're, unless you bought three 33Cs, that means you're running either a P well, or a 32, and nobody right, fucking okay. wants to run those anymore. You could be... Let's you be could fair, be... I'm actually selling this idea short, because if you think about it, they do already have that thing where you'd only be able to ready up a certain tonnage. And so that, that could actually be one of the better solutions I've heard. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You could it just ready it up gets a certain tricky amount of tonnage. because if you've matched with another team and, you know, the 60 seconds later the team's still trying to figure out how to make a tonnage that will go green and let them launch. Nobody nobody picks tonnages, that's what I'm saying. Allowing people to yeah, pick the tonnage, matchmaker allowing maybe. people to oh, actually okay. pick their mechs is a dumb idea. Well, that's not true. It's, <laughs> a, it's a nice <laughs> idea. It won't work. It will cause problems. So twenty-minute matchmakers is yeah. what we'd be looking at. I mean, right? case in point, like our competitive teams who are dictating what mech choices we have, we can't even ready up inside of like four minutes. Some and that's the ever... super fast. No, and that's the super fast teams. The, the guys who've been doing it for on yeah. team speak. The guys who have team builders and have the shit in line. And you got coach yelling at you to get your shit ready, like. I have to hey, fucking I just got minutes. 480 tons. Fill it up. Go. I have you to... got 60 seconds. I don't, fucking read I don't off drop we... deck sometimes. It's irritating. But it, you can do it quickly if everybody knows what they're playing ahead of time. I was going to say, we, we set all our stuff out. We get everything ready. And for the most part, we're ready on time. There have been a couple times we haven't. But for the most part, we're ready on time and we're all green. Yeah, yeah, but that's because you're pre-getting ready. If you've got a launch oh, match sure. and be ready in 60 seconds, there's no way SJR even is going to get that done in 60 seconds. 
if they if they're only given the tonnage at the beginning of the countdown. Does it say what happens after? No, that's what I'm curious about. Like when <laughs> you've got twelve explodes. people in Your Atlas, team collectively what happens? MC. That's what happens. Yeah, so that's what I think. The <laughs> okay, so what what I think would be cool is if the the matchmaker took players taking multiple weight classes into account. So if you're taking a light, a medium, a heavy, and an assault, you're gonna drop way faster than anybody else. If you want to run four fucking Highlanders, go ahead, do it. But it might but you take you it might take you 15 team. goddamn minutes to find a match. That's totally okay with me. Like I'll fucking I'll ready up my Death Snell and a Shadow Hawk and like whatever the hell heavy and assault mechs <laughs> that I feel like playing. Well, because here that, that and then I, uh, those players get priority over priority is a bad way to put it. Preference would be a good way to put it. Those players get preference over players that are taking all mechs of one weight tonnage. A match and based on the number of mechs, like based on the tonnage of all the mechs, the matchmaker just assigns the team a number of mechs, or uh, assigns the players what mechs they're playing. And all you get to vote on is tonnage. And the matchmaker could know, if it's doing the math ahead of time, what tonnages are possible with what teams. So you could get like three different brackets that are possible, and then you see what mechs you could be playing at each bracket, and you vote. You're like, oh, I want to play my Atlas this round, I'll vote for the 800 ton bracket. And so that was that's where like the voting and choice could come in. There's, that sounds good. That we but it's discussed. all speculation, right? Oh no, it's total, that, that's, that's what I would do. I don't that's know. Good, I'd like yeah. it see that but something important that we haven't discussed is that this is for community warfare mm -hmm. is there still going to be a matchmaking queue like we have now what or is everything going to be community warfare Looks Every, like everything's everything community warfare. i think public matches yeah. are going to turn into like house versus house i, I think that well, or, or here, they do it the way Star Conflict did it, and they didn't have a big enough population to have. When you did the community warfare, you couldn't have a, one team of Team A against one team against T, or a full team of Team C. It's going to be, okay, well, I aspire, I'm, I'm House Leo, giant douchebag, yeah. So I play the game, I do a pug drop, and then my game score goes towards the Leo, you know, total. Because there's not enough a big enough player base for it to ever be like when would you ever play a rassle hog team when would you ever play a a leo team i mean there's yeah, not that many i've totally wondered about that because like with elo it's like you have to have one or the other you could do faction matches or you could do elo matching but if you're gonna do both you're gonna need a way bigger player base especially like late at night when i play fuck man it takes like for 95 to find rate, any right? matches and all the matches are against siri and it's bad <laughs> Dude, I always hate that drop where I'm like, I drop on some team with like ass rammer XX4T, and I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm totally fucked. This could be like somebody awesome, or this is some like brand new guy who's just happened to be on a winning streak. And I look over, and it's like, oh, that's an SWK Lance, that's an SJR Lance. Oh, fun. Oh, I think Bill, Bill cut to the heart of the issue there is that right now we have two layers of, of complexity. We have ELO, and we have weight matching. And it can only really function on the one. Because it'll get the ELO right, and then it'll completely screw up the, uh, the weight. And that happens more often than not. And uh, they want to go yeah. and put a third level of complexity of having the faction groups, and then ELO, and then weight. And, and then, then the vote. Something's got to give. And yeah, because it, it's going to be the faction thing because that's the easiest one they can get rid of. You know, I can tell you individual score goes to the faction. I can tell you we've been running some uh, light practices, and it uh, what we dropped twice or three times today, and it was almost an entire group of lights. So you know their drop stuff isn't right. So if they can't get that right, how are they going to get the, this right? I mean, well, and they need how, to focus on getting this stuff right the first time. Well, but, and it, that's, goes, that's it's, not it a, still stems back to the player population thing. Getting something I mean, right the, thing the first is time is hard. You won't find 12 light pilots in the queue against to fight against if you're a 12 light team. 
Because there's only ever one team doing that at any given time. time. There's never well, multiple, right? right? I'll, I'll right, give but, you, for instance, like we had one one assault, uh, probably almost everybody else was lights. Like, yeah, I had a whole lance of lights, but everybody else was lights. Like, literally. And then on the other team, it's it's almost all assaults. Like, they don't even have a light. They have a medium. And, and, and that's the kind of stuff that we're getting right. And I, I'm not saying, I'm not bagging on anybody, but I'm just saying, you know, get some of this other stuff right, um, you know, or take the complexity out because you make it more complex, you're going to you're gonna break it more. But I think what, well, they it's proposed, progress, though. What, what they've proposed here doesn't even have the three factors that Siri laid out because in the public queue, the way it's written up here, tonnage is really removed. So the two factors that they're trying to match on are your alliance or your faction and your ELO. Sorry. Right. Um, that's... Tonnage is a huge range. So, I mean, you, you can end up with uh, things that we have those unbalanced games where it's, you know, seven lights and maybe one assault, a couple of heavies against a team that's eight assaults and, you know, has no lights at all. So you're still going to have that based on the way that they've got this written up now. Right, I agree with you. I was articulating the problem in general sure. when you're trying to take all these factors in. What they're doing is heavily constraining weight to be very specific and no longer a factor of the matchmaker. They're offloading it to the players to figure out. But as we agree, that, that won't work. And so when we're coming up with our solutions, we have to consider those three. My, my personal preference is still going to be have like uh, reward players for readying up with the uh, with more choices because if you reward players for readying up with more choices and the fact that they play faster or fuck like give them like a thousand c bills like oh you readied up with four different mechs of four different classes thousand c bills on top of whatever you're making or something like but, that. But but just like readying thousands. up with those mechs doesn't really mean a lot cuz once you get to that ready screen, you can just be a dick and pick your Highlander and say fuck it, I'm not changing. And then who knows what they're going to do after the 60 seconds whether they'll, you know, keep track of how many times you got in your way or whatever they decide to do, but you can still just cock block once you are in the queue. Yeah, it's um, Go ahead. The solution I'm in favor of would only work if there was still a public, like the current public matchmaking, and then Clan Wars matchmaking was a separate thing. Um, right. What I was initially pitching on Reddit and was discussing with Bill was, for example, if you wanted to do uh, community warfare, before you entered the queue, you'd search for a team. You'd get onto the team, then as that team, you would, it would be like the pr uh, private lobby screen you'd ready up mechs until you had a legit drop, and then you would be dropped in into like the actual that. search and queue. The problem there being that um, if everybody has to go through this process and everybody has to form a 12-man, it's not going to work out so hot. Um, yeah, well, it's, it, it's a tough one to get everybody together like beforehand, especially because, I, I don't know, like anything involved where... The matchmaker does not make a valid match and it's left to the people is going to take too long. I mean, just think about every competitive drop you've ever done. Anytime you're trying to sync drop, it's just a huge pain in the ass to, you know, what do we want to do? Well, against these guys, maybe we run run LRMs. No, maybe we should snipe. No, kind of want to brawl. Like, everybody wants to do... It's just going to be a huge clusterfuck I've got to if they leave this to, to players. I, I mean... I, I I have to disagree purely on the fact that I've played competitive matches where you know what you're taking ahead of time. Granted, and that's fine for the competitive players, but do you think you can extend this concept to pugs and expect this to happen in any sort of reasonable amount of time that like casual gamers would be okay with? Like the you know, the dad that logs on like for two or three matches a night, man, I just I just can't see it. So so the other thing I would take into account is depending on how hard the elo is bracketed you might get to know the players in your elo bracket pretty well or you might get to know the people that you drop with on times like so, so let's say we kind of already do right so well that's what i mean but <laughs> that's not necessarily true at like the lower levels like i see you guys you know a couple times a night playing but so so if we all dropped into a match and be like oh look it's you know series on this team tony's on this team guys what do you guys want to do and we could we could probably ready up in 60 seconds 
I'm I'm fairly confident given fair like semi diverse mechs in our base Aww. we get ready up in sixty seconds. Only if we had a standardized tonnage. If it was like we o always played seven fifty, given a month of doing that, I agree we could probably get it done in sixty seconds. Mm -hmm. I but just if, so I, I feel like that is a possibility. Beforehand, then we're just fucked. But I I have to, I have to agree with Siri that giving giving players the option to. Oh, you know, now that Siri mentions that, I actually have to remind everyone. With this, groups are any size from two to twelve players. They haven't actually confirmed that yet. Uh, At least this no, didn't. it was a tweet. Two uh, to eleven. Brian tweeted about it. Two to oh, really? so it was twelve because I thought it was going to be. 11. How long ago was this? Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, it might yeah, be the two to eleven. Twelve man queue is going away. It's just that one queue and then private matches. Oh, okay. The last I had heard was way back in like Ask the Devs forty five when they were first releasing this idea. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys talk really quick, and I'm gonna try and find that. That's kind of that's kind of scary because then you get like a twelve man queue of SDK yep. against all. Pogs, that is know, absolutely what I'm pretty sure is going to happen. They're just going to count on like tonnage and elo to balance that out, and I have a hard time believing that that is going Whoa. to work at all. For what it's worth, if they did that and they pulled in public queue into the 12s, suddenly you could rank it by loyalty, rank it by elo, rank it by tonnage, because you, what, 10 times the population, or, well... Probably a hundred times the population. It's not that many play teams playing twelves. Well, here's the other thing. I do kind of like that anything goes style of the twelve man queue, because like as much as yeah, sometimes you need to ton up. Well, the other night we were running ten mediums and two lights and beating teams with eight assaults. It's that's fun. always fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's great. And like we ran into a bunch of different people, and like we were running that for a couple nights. And I had a hell of a lot of fun doing that, and, like, when you're, quote, not supposed to be able to do that. Um, oh, there's also not that many teams that can run half tonnage. Yeah, exactly, right. There's not a but ton that's of teams what that can play at half will be tonnage. For... Right, but... Can carry the day. Yeah, that private matches is, like, running, selecting your opponent, though. This was going <laughs> up against anybody we could. Very true. Them it does take weight. that out. So... Yeah, I don't know. I'm. That's like one of the reasons I've never really liked saying you must play at this specific weight. Because some of the games that go super heavy, they play completely different than games that go super light. My only issue with it is when a super heavy team is pushed against the super light. And so yeah, I, I'm still of the opinion that you don't need to dictate the exact weight as long as your weight matcher is strong enough to get that detail right. So do you, do you think that it... Well, have you, I mean, there, I, I don't mean to take us off this, but there's another element to the way that they've proposed this that has to do with the voting, and, and we haven't even touched upon that. Um, you know, voting for the match to go through or voting to shuffle yourself, I, I'm not sure what, at that point, you get to see. And that there'd be a, a C bill or an MC cost for each time that you vote to shuffle instead of accept the match. Oh, God, yes. That's the other thing I'm worried about. What if... Like, every single opponent we have just goes, no, don't want to play these guys. But that's what they have to pay. Yeah. Right, but then if you're merging the 12 Q with all the Qs, then there might actually... Be no, I don't think that's for opponents. I think that's, like, once you have your opponents, and it's for, like, the map and game type selection. Mm -hmm. Unless I read that wrong. But I don't think that's, like, you can ditch your opponents. That would be horrible. Well, it doesn't really that would be tough. All, all I'm getting out of this is that when I read this, I didn't read it carefully enough. Because now that I'm reading it again, I'm like, wow, this is really, really vague. And when I read it, I was like, oh, there's so much detail! Well, that's... I'm so excited! That's what I was reading. I was like, you've got Fuck. two... Two or three, four, four, uh, what, uh, my brain just died. Paragraphs, sorry. Four paragraphs kind of explaining how the game is completely changing in the way it decides anything. That's ridiculous. Come on, guys. Well, but maybe they don't know themselves completely how they're going to do it, too. Here's no, my don't. support for suggesting that uh, the voting gets you a new opponent. It goes, yada yada, you have three choices when voting. 
vote for match, vote the shuffle, abstain, blah, 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 voting locked in. If a shuffle wins, two new matches are randomly created. And Why I would think you be that creating two new matches if you didn't have new opponents. Maybe you I've... get to. Go ahead. Oh, see, I thought that meant that you get two new options, like two new map and game type combinations. That's no, what I got have, out of it. Because you have three choices: um, voting for the match that you're given, voting to shuffle it, or abstaining. So, it's it's not really a pick between maps. It's do you like this? Yes, no. So, hey, if we get the money they pay to avoid us, that could be fun too. Wow, that. <laughs> well, yeah. If you're if you're getting money to farm farming you, yeah, yeah that anything. would be awful. Oh if god, that's how it works. I do not support that. That, that would be the that'd be the shit. Idea. I'd log on every night at the end when I'm like just tired and watching Netflix and be like, hey Siri, Tony, Xander, you guys yeah. homeless, Xander, you guys want to make some money? I'll get in a fucking eleven man group and drop, and everyone's like, nope, nope, fuck this shit. I'm out. I'm out. Pay him, pay him a million. <laughs> like, oh, good. Randomly, you guys have to fucking poke me on TS. Be like, somebody actually took the game. Like, oh fuck, shit, I gotta try. So, I'm gonna commando. So if this is just to choose things like, you know, you see the map selection, tonnage, whatever those choices are, this is just their way to milk everyone for their C-bills and their, their MC who didn't choose to do a private one where you got to pick from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think we're... And on top of that, you know, what are you gonna do... You know, SWK, SJR, PSK, you know, 228. You're going to make a new account and uh, play them that way, you know? <laughs> yeah, like we've already. Same people. Like, that, that's the thing for this entire thing. The only thing that I understand and like out of this is private matching. Everything <laughs> yeah, else private is Private matching, I think, is workable. Yeah. And, and it looks like it's going to be good. And the thing that I also. I think this is way too vague. As much as like this prevent presents information, I feel like they did it to talk to the public and like give them a general idea. I I feel like they know a lot more about this than they told us, and us that are they making it up as they go, which is also or they true. word it poorly like they do so many other and, things. And so as, it's ambiguous. And as a programmer, I can testify that just kind of making shit up as you go is fairly acceptable. <laughs> no, they, they don't have any requirements for this. They're basically throwing together some ideas and they're waiting to see what comes back and feedback to hone them in on what they should do. Yeah. I, I mean, see, I, I, don't, I don't think, if they, if I think they have like a solid idea of what they want to do. They're just terrible at communicating it, and the idea isn't really well thought out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's bad right and it should feel mouth. bad. Uh, what's even worse, though, at the very beginning, you see they're, they're talking about Mercs. You're just thrown into a regular, you know, whatever. What happened to the... Are we going to be able to take, you know, the the uh, contracts and different stuff no, like no, that? No, that, no, that's what it's saying. That's it's a, merc stage. a mercenary player with no allegiances via the contract system will be placed into an, a random alliance bucket. This is going to be like yeah. the Phase 2, which is the for everyone community warfare. Yeah. And Phase 3 is like the actual Merc Corps taking over uh, see, locations. One of the things that I think we're also missing is that We've been playing this game at the level it's at for so long that it's really hard for us to picture there being, like, a new overarching goal. Like, it's it's hard for me to picture that my fucking troll drops in, you know, my four PPC stalker are actually going to count for something because everything's going to be community warfare. Like, that's hard to think about. Because I'm going to start, like, fucking trying harder in a lot of matches. Like, when I get drunk at night, I'm not going to be hard. like... I'm not just gonna be like, oh, let's let's run the trolley's build I can think of. I'm gonna actually like, I'm like, okay, let's. I'm drunk, but I'm still gonna, you know, try hard because I'm fighting for something. And so I think. I disagree. What were you gonna say? Sorry, continue. You're uh, still rambling. Yeah, I. I mean, I am, but less than rambling. It's. It's very possible that players develop, like an attachment to their house, and the ideal of I mean sure you're still gonna have trolls you have trolls in every fucking game but it's possible that you develop an, a, like an allegiance to your house that dwarfs your want to like play like the mech that you're best at or the mech that you really want to play that match you know I, I get what you're saying but then that all comes back around to they need to they need to get this stuff right otherwise you're mm -hmm. gonna have you're gonna have uh, SWK drop against some random pugs and just slaughter them 
and those there might be one or two players on there do, doing single drops and going, what the heck just happened? I just <laughs> why you know, am I, I here? Did, yeah, I did really well, but man, it's and a half that did zero damage. So, <laughs> well, and that's the thing is the last time we had, uh, fuck, eight, like when when you could do a seven man matchmaking, like back in you know fucking eight mans, I miss Elo. That. Yeah, that was fun. But Elo wasn't in place, so it's not like they're just gonna take out Elo and give. Oh shit. We lost Sander. Did we? Yeah. yeah. He had he had the stone face there for a sec. <laughs> I'm not sure what's up. Skype's telling me we have a problem yeah, with the call. Yeah, I didn't even know he was gone. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, um. Hypothetically, he'll be back soon. But so I think that if Elo is still in place, so granted, you're going to be more coordinated. Like if you ha if you drop in against an 11 man team, they're going to be more coordinated. But as long as Elo's in place, it's possible that the matches still aren't super one-sided, even with... Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, like, Siri, when you're running a four-man with, with SJR, what's your win-loss ratio with just four of you? I think we go something like 30 and 4 some nights. See? And, like, that's what I'm talking about. That's with four of them. You know, and granted, like, they're like some of the best in the game, but still, with any coordinated 12-man on Team Speak team against good pugs, probably 80% of the time, they're going to roll over. I just, and I see it being bad, even with ELO matching. Well, that goes back <laughs> to my earlier point, like, we when we... <coughs> Sorry, I had to cough really bad. I think you're mic'd up in Skype, by the way. Sorry, yeah, my bad. bad. <laughs> it happened, <laughs> I when, I, it happened when I called Xander back. Alright, so, yeah. on, And that's the thing I was kind of alluding to earlier. We were running 10 mediums and 2 lights. And that was against teams who were coordinated, who played together, who actually have a clue what they're doing. And it was still not at all um, a fair match. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to do that, but if the 12-man queue is really going away, the complaints of Pug Stomping are really going to come back out uh, in full force. I think it's... I don't think... I haven't been able to find this goddamn tweet, because I'm pretty sure it was Russ, and Russ tweets all the goddamn time. But, um... I'm pretty sure it was 2 to 11-man groups. So there's still going to be a 12-person queue, I think. But I don't know really. that stops us from dropping one guy from a group and just trolling them how. I, I don't know, man. But it's... Or sync drop one one man group and one 11 man group and hope. Dude, can you imagine being the lucky <laughs> pug? Like the one guy that gets on SJR's team I <laughs> like than everybody team. else. Yeah, to be um, fair, Siri, you're all, you're, your perspective is unfair because you're on what is definitely the best team right now, so... Um, God damn. I'm not going to comment on that, but... No, the the thing I'm, I guess I'm getting at overall is that the details we have aren't a update on Community Warfare. They're really just an update on a matchmaker. Yeah. Phase two of phase two of this whole Community Warfare thing. It, I, I don't even think it without a proper reward structure. Siri, do you want to introduce us? There's people behind you. They were they're they looking very cameras, don't serious. Worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> my roommate, my roommate just made me shotgun a beer like ten minutes ago with him before he went out. I was like, dude, I'm doing a show. He's like, no, man, come on, just do it. Anyway, well, um, I, I, relevant. No, it, it's not. if if they do it like that, though, back on topic. If they do it like that, they're what series getting at is they will kill <laughs> their player base because then you have pub stomping <laughs> or pug stomping. You know, complete pug stomping. And nobody likes to be stomped super hard over and over and over. Um, even if your elo is good, uh, if you're single dropping and all of a sudden you run against, you know, SWK, SJR, BSK, whatever, you're just going to get stomped. And it's not, it all of a sudden you're, you're not wanting to single drop at all. And you've completely killed uh, all those pugs out there because believe it or not they are the majority um 
all those pugs out there who want to do single drops or want to do double drops, you know? Yeah, I... I feel like there's going to be more information to come. I feel like... I, I At least I hope One there is. would hope. Yeah. There has to be, otherwise this makes... Yeah. The problem... The, one of the biggest and, problems that I see is... Well... Ahead. I'm trying to think of other like first person shooters I've played where tactics have been as important as they are in this game and where like I think back to my days of playing like COD and I still play fucking CS cuz I love that game but like you yeah, do just, just you do just get fucking trashed sometimes like you do just get rolled and I've never thought of it as like oh I got rolled I'm going to fucking quit playing I'm just like god damn it and I get really pissed and then I play again and I eventually get a good team and it's fine World of Tanks is the only game I played mm. that comes close to it. Yeah, it's, it's the same sort of one life, no respawns, all sort of tactical. Do you uh, know how? Game. How does I've never played World of Tanks because I, I thought it was kind of I, I thought it looked kind of stupid. I do. How does their How does their matchmaker work? <laughs> all right, you I... know how Phase Three is supposed to be corpse taking over things. Right. That's the entirety of Community Warfare. Um, for them. If you want to do CW, then you get a clan and you control territory. Okay. And you end up making gold, which is MC, right. for the clan, and the clan can dis distribute that to its members. Yep. Um, and that's based on a specific... You do, like, your chip movements, is what it's called. Like, you move your forces around on the map where you want to attack, where you're putting forces to defend. And those will schedule battles at specific times, and it'll be one battle for that. Um, as for public matchmaking, they there is no lasting impact on pu from any sort of public community warfare. It's all um, like weight and tier matching because they do have like a, their progression system is tiers from one to ten, mm -hmm. and, and each each tank is weighted differently too. As far as uh, some tanks that do really well and are really good in their tier are weighted higher, and some are weighted a little lower. So, so, yeah, so I, I feel like they are completely capable of looking at that and taking inspiration from it and making a completely fine matchmaker. I'm not super worried about it, honestly. Like, well, that's that's the line they're walking though. Is they have cloned so many ideas and features that I think they feel like doing something new except as far as tanks deficiencies go their style of community warfare isn't one of them i feel that's so a you, lot of you, fun you like their community warfare yeah it was big yeah. meaningful battles where okay. it was 15 on 15 like it was a yeah i as much as this like the as much as the info drop is like a little bit scary cuz we don't know what it means i'm not I'm not, like, petrified with fright that they're going to completely fuck it up. I feel like they either didn't communicate it very well, or, you know, it's very possible that the person who wrote this isn't actually in charge of designing it, and so doesn't actually have quite the handle on it that everybody else does. I, well, that's scary. You are an optimistic so. man. Well, I am. Very optimistic man. Well, it, but, but but you guys are pessimistic. Like it, it's there's there aren't very many neutral people left in this game. There are optimistic people and there are pessimistic people. There's nobody who's just sitting there and being like, uh, it's it's this. I don't think I'm pessimistic. I think I'm very realistic. There's <laughs> that's what every pessimist says. <laughs> no, uh -oh. if I was a cynic, if I was a cynic and an utter pessimist, I'd say that they were throwing out these details just to appease the the frothing public. Fair enough. That, to that be fair, an explanation. the community in this game it can be pretty trash sometimes. Oh, well, but this community has the best community out of any game. How forgiving are we? <laughs> How much love do we have for this game? Have you uh, been on the forms? I purposely avoid the shit out of the forms. It's, yeah, it's I can like tell by that put... statement. Dude, they are you kidding me? Don't make death yeah. threats paragraph into that what? one creative director's update. I was like, who does that? Like, Kills. I mean, hey, <laughs> is he in, is he in Merkstar right now? <laughs> well, I don't know. We can ask him. Hold on, I have a gift for you. I have a, an image for you guys. But um, like this well, community is not super stellar. Like 
it's pretty rough. Oh, no. I, I wholeheartedly disagree. Have you ever the, been to the forums? No, no, I've dude, and, and, that's, and that's 2% of the disgruntled population. How many people don't go to the forums because they love this game and don't want to read that trash? Raise your hand. Yo. Me. Right here. Me. Right here. Face Fonzo. in front of the camera. We're voting. No. Like, yeah. I'm serious. You look at this game, and, and it's because this is a franchise that goes back 30 years. You've got freaking 60-year-olds who grew, well, maybe not grew up playing this game, but guys who have played this game forever, they won't go away regardless of what PGI does to the game. And yeah, that's where you see this community is it, amazing. PGI is Xander, blessed. You're, you're 60, Death right? is the only thing it will take them. Tony. Xander, you're, you're 60, right? Oh, yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> Tony, be nice to Xander, guys. I like <laughs> having him on the show. This is black here. There's only a little bit of gray. I sound like what, Siri? You sound like the goons at the save MWO right now. Oh, oh dude. Uh, as not... much as I trashed the goons, uh, no. they said one thing in their whole save just right on par, and it's support competitive, or the, you know, the competitive community, because... Yeah, you pump all your money into getting the new users, the guys who spend 100 bucks and then never play the game again, but it's this competitive league that will keep this game going for years that'll set the bar for what this game can be. So, well, I love the, the goons thing, for saying that, right? The the other thing I was going to mention is we assume that we assume they're going to mess everything up and we kind of assume they're kind of stupid. Um they've got uh PGI and whatever, they've got a lot of good games to kind of build off of other people that have done it right. Other people that have done it wrong. So as long as they, they kind of, even if they have to walk the, even if they walk the line of, of tanks or whatever, you know, if they can get it right and get it right eventually, because tanks didn't get it right the first time, I can tell you that, you know, so uh, it, as long as they get it right and get it right, eventually I'll be happy. All right, so, hey, it's it's 12.30, maybe final comments on this thing, and I have one other thing to throw out there as a random add-on. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. I think we've pretty much talked about... Does, does anybody have anything else they want to say? Siri, I know you usually have, like, a final comment. I picked, um, the, I picked the one time you don't. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, I was just thinking through, because that was out of left field. <laughs> Long and... Well, yeah. I, thinking about, I, think, I think it's good. Look, be encouraged by what they're doing for the private side. You know, the rest of this is going to become more clear, and then we can have another talk about it when we have more details. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We don't know shit now. Same yeah, thing about I, I Community think, Warfare, we don't know. I think my last word on it is what I said earlier. Push and thrust? <laughs> <laughs> Should never have said it. Uh, fuck. Thank you, Xander. <laughs> God damn it, now Siri's <laughs> never going to come on the show again. Xander, if will I you join the remnant just because mind. you make those comments? <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as you push and thrust your way back in, it's all good. Um, no, the private match is small quibble with it, just the process of premium being put ahead of everything else. That's fine. The private matches are the thing we've been asking for forever, and even if it has something like that, as long as it's not utterly broken, we'll happily take it. The rest of it is just a clusterfuck of poorly communicated information and poorly thought out ideas. And I feel like they have this amazing, wonderful thing, but they haven't thought through the function enough. Um, so, just... Yeah. <laughs> think it through, get it I done. think that's the first time I've hey, heard man, you not, like, up. completely articulate You're not mad, idea you're perfectly. just disappointed. It's... I I, I, I'm hoping we're going to get another info drop. I feel like a bunch of stuff is focused on UI 2.0 right now because they didn't think that was going to be as big of a project it was going to be. But again, I can't get inside their heads and I don't want to pretend that I can. So You'd go insane it, if you did. It, it's, it, just, it's, hard, it's hard trying to articulate what I think about it when my entire reaction is just, the fuck? <laughs> just give us goddamn <laughs> private lobbies already. It's easy. <laughs> so, Antonius, what was your other... Tidbit you wanted to throw in to throw us off track here as we end. So, I, I forgot to mention this last time I was on. I had cornered, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Buckton, although it's been a while, so I can't remember. And I push cornered and him and thrust. tried to ask him, push and thrust. 
<laughs> and I, I had this I had this feeling that they were going to change premium time once they released the loyalty stuff that if you had active premium time you'd get an additional bonus to loyalty points so my team had this fear about this and it's like well let's not activate our phoenix premium time because we may as well wait for loyalty points so we get the bonus so i kind of cornered him and i asked him i'm like hey can you shed any light on this do you know anything about premium time giving you bonus loyalty points and he said i have not heard anything about that topic though it's completely not my department so i don't really know but now that you gave him the idea he's taking it back and they're about to put it <laughs> yeah in and the they're game. gonna thanks it. very much i was gonna, well, I was okay. gonna I say my premium time it's fine don't worry guys I haven't even so, fucking and, picked and my medallions like, uh, yet. So then I said, okay, well, so you're saying we can probably activate our premium time and we'll we'll be fine. He said, whoa, whoa, whoa I didn't say that. <laughs> so, so there's some information. Middle. It tells you nothing, but I don't I'm know. I'm pretty sure they're going to put a faction point boost on it. I mean, I can't see why they wouldn't. It's and... like a free reason to buy the, you know, pay them more money. Because really, it's not a great money. value right now. Like, in my mind, premium time compared to, like, other free-to-play games just isn't quite as appealing as it needs to be. I just don't care enough. But, you know, if they had a couple more bonuses in there, I'd think about it. If I can drop oh. 80 grand of strikes per game and still make money without premium time. Um. Fucking barely. Well, I say. barely squeezed by with two air with an error and Artie and a fucking UAV the other night. I made like a hundred and twenty point five or something like that. I was like, well, I made money. <laughs> there you go. I take I really take 20. both air and uh, Artie in in almost every pug whenever I'm running my light, and nine times out of ten I make money. The only reason we took Jenner days in the finals of Arhod were so that we'd get the Founders bonus and we would break even economically. No, 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 save it. Save it, save it, save it. Oh, Siri, you're letting all of your secrets go. That's why, guys, I mean, so this is probably something we should tell everybody that isn't in the competitive community. None of us actually have C-bill banks because we spend all of it on Air Artie. So that that making money is a pretty big fucking deal. Oh, hold on. This is this is a serious point. I'd like to know maybe for the next one. I want each of the uh, Merc groups to bring the top dollar earner on their team. How many C-bills they have? Because it's it's a it's. A falsehood that people don't have money. Oh no! no oh, I was dude! It's, oh man! Fuck well, it! Okay, uh, here, let's let's do it in the room. All six of us. How much cash do you've got back right now? I have two hundred million, and the top oh, guy on our team oh, probably oh. has almost five hundred million. Oh. 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 Jesus! Uh, I've got I've got like thirty. All the EP. Yeah, yeah, dude. I my erection just my ener my ener <laughs> ener erection is ener that what we're gonna call that? <laughs> Awkward. That just deflated. No, I've got like thirty mil. Ah uh, man, I've got like a mil. But I just did. I just <laughs> oh. did. I just did <laughs> commandos and I'm, punchbacks. We so. we do got, we do have we do have uh, a couple guys in the remnant that it, one's got like two hundred mil and the other one's got like one hundred and seventy five and whatever and whatnot. Fuck me know. is is That's multi online? Because multi's oh, got like got multi has. Oh. I'm pretty sure every single mech. Well, I have I have all the mechs. It do, it doesn't impact the money really anymore. We've been playing long enough. With if you had premium time, and you play long enough. And you guys slaughter us. I'm at eighty, and I think our top earner is Ara at like one seventy. But that's because he only owns four. I was gonna say, mechs. So, doesn't he just he play Jenners? He only owns four Max, and he's got four Jenners. <laughs> <laughs> well, I personally only have twenty million. But oh God! Jagger so just good. broke three hundred million the other day. Oh, you dirty Alan girl! Ripley's been over like three three hundred for a while. Wasn't there yeah. somebody who posted on the have... forums that that they had like a billion C bills? No, no, that's one of the guys said. debunked that and said no one's a billionaire yet. But okay. Dunes, Kathy Angst is probably the closest. He's got like five hundred fifty. Yeah, Dunes on our yeah. only had a team to play. Knights team has about five hundred million, I think. Um. We have another guy who doesn't have a lot of money, but he has every single mech in the game. I've got, I've got every mech. Come on, there's yeah, plenty of people with that. I've got we, every we've mech got, I want to play. Guy that has it. Well, Dude, like every mech mechs? plus 150 mechs. including heroes, even the pretty baby. Yeah, hey, I'm... pretty baby is gold. Oh my god, what? And the jester? Does he Dude, have the pretty jester? Ba yes. Pretty baby is not the worst hero mech. 
Oh, by far. I mean, I love it. I own it, but it's it's terrible. Death Snell is the best commando. What are you talking about? The best. I would take best it. Best <laughs> Winner of the Special Olympics. That's right. I mean, yeah, I'm not I'm not attesting to commandos being super awesome or anything, but the Death really? Snell is clearly yeah. the best. <laughs> well, now it got speed boost. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. It was trash before. God. All right. Uh, uh, yeah. Is read the announcements. Yeah. Do we want to? Anybody else have anything important they want to say? We can ramble if we really want to, but I've got finals to study for. Right. Um, should we announce our merger? We're exist. gonna be the Steel Sword Jaguar of Kandaris. It's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna drop twelve on twelve of our own guys and farm the cues to make all the billions. This just in: <laughs> no one joins Arhad or Merrick next season because fuck <laughs> playing against that. Well, the lords are currently joining our HUD. What? Oh, oh yeah. that's going to be great. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, that's actually going to be fun. I'm excited to see that. Ooh. Yeah. That being said, I don't Vils fucking know if tingling. we're playing our HUD or not. What? Wait, wait, wait. You're, you're excited to see Vils drop in a channel and troll you in your ear whenever they beat you? Dude, he already, to him? he's already in Merc Star. What about when they lose? He's got he's to he's he's come right. in and troll you anyway. <laughs> I mean, hell, he's got to find a team first, right? He was hit by this <laughs> nah. No, mate, we just we just lost that game on purpose. We didn't want to beat you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that and sounds very accurate. In more serious <laughs> news, um, the ladder league that oh, yeah. Magician is putting together to complement the actual Arhod um, like tourney league is probably going to be going live the first week of January. It's just going to be an open ladder. So there's no real like official sign-up period. It's you want to play, you're on the ladder, cool, go fight your opponents. And so that's going to be a lot more open for new teams coming in, and it'll allow them to challenge other teams near their skill level, and not just be forced into playing like an SJR, SWK, or even a BSK. And then the plan, is, the plan is then to make Arhad the more competitive team so that you don't have the dropping out factor this time, right? Am I correct in that knowledge? Yeah, we want we want to give an outlet for every team to be able to play in while still having a super serial um, one on the side. Yep, I uh, I like that. That makes sense. Last time, I, last time I talked to Magician, he was like toying with uh, different restrictions than last time. Do you know anything about that? I don't know what the exact rule set is at okay. at the current I'll, point in time, but I'll there are one. there are a couple options for the restrictions where you'll be able to, the attack, the challenging team gets to choose a certain set of restrictions and the challenged team gets to remove one. I think it was the ruling oh, or the rule that. set last time. Is there a finalized rule set or is it still in progress? No, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if there is yet. Yeah. Okay. We'll have, well, well, hey, once it's done, give it to us. We'll get it up on Merkstar. Get people, get that oh, in circulation. Cause... Well, it'll probably be finalized when it goes live. Okay. Because, like I said, it's just a, it's an open ladder, so it's not really a big deal if you're signing up or not. So. Yeah. Killer. Um, yeah, make sure to check that out. I think most everything is going dark for the next couple of weeks. Um, <laughs> Except for Proxus. <laughs> Don't fuck with us. No, Proxus is... We'll sextuple attack you. Pro multi, <laughs> multi said he's extending any match that people can't play during yeah. the holidays, because that'd just be fucking bullshit. I know, I'm gone. This is going to be the last episode of War Room until... So, fuck. actually, I, th I think for January. the record for Proxus, it's you still have to respond to games within the four days, so move your dropships, respond Correct. to them with mechs, but you don't have to play the actual game till after. Yes, exactly. The, the, so. game, the game outside of the game is still going on. You still move your dropships, all that shit. You still schedule matches, but then once the match is scheduled... You just delay actually playing it because nobody's fucking around because it's Christmas. Uh, so the meta game is still happening, but the games itself don't have to. Exactly. And Versi would be happy that somebody used the terms correctly. I, he would be so happy. <laughs> he, I don't, I don't think he's watching right now, but I'm sure, I'm sure Queen Blade is happy. His left nut's um, tingling somewhere. It's happy. He doesn't know why though. He. <laughs> I. I sense a disturbance. It is the <laughs> yeah. someone used metagame properly. 
Um, <laughs> He's been tangling ever since Siri said push and thrust. We know. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody, anybody who isn't me who has Photoshop skills or just fucking paint wants to get a picture of Siri's face and just write like push and thrust in big bubble letters over the top. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you were supposed to make Atkinson's dream come true and make it Siri Chan instead of Siri oh, but you fuck. didn't. I was. You didn't fucking deliver. I am. Uh, like, fuck you, were awful. I thought you were go- Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Um, Well, episode 10, I'll just have on a bunch of, like, people that everybody knows, and your all of your names will be wrong. Aww. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so everything's gonna be quiet for a while. I might try and pin in another show next week if the 17th patch is, like, fucking huge and there's shit we didn't know about. Um, But I doubt it. UI 2.0? Well, hey, what what is really for the next patch? They said something big, right? The map, the saber reinforcement package, probably the thunderbolt, and I guess that is there, there's, surprise, there's, I guess. That there, the way the way uh, the word on the ways really is that they're supposed to be something big that they're not telling us or whatever. Um, I don't know what it is. Nobody really has said much about it, but and I could be wrong. But that's, a lump of that's coal in I've your stocking is what you're gonna get. Circumstantial evidence <laughs> points towards it being a something to do with the clans. I mean, what? you just look at the timing yeah, of that yeah. website. It's probably yeah. You're, instead of the cockpit items, you're gonna be able to buy a red glowing nose for your locust. Yes, I would do this. Just in time for Christmas. No, you put it on yeah. the raven. Put it on the raven. That'll look better. It's got the big nose. No, the raven. The raven gets horns. Put it on the <laughs> fucking awesome. Just get fucked. <laughs> no raven. one will buy it. Let's do it. Uh, all right, guys. I would love to talk more, but we've already. Holy balls! How did we go that much over time? Jesus. Okay. Uh, what? I thought we were twenty minutes under time, given how it normally goes. <laughs> uh, this, sh- this is supposed to be like an hour long show. There's a hole in the space time continuum. We can't help it. You Last time start I cutting guests out. Then. No, I like having this many people on. Last time I checked, it was like an hour and three minutes. I was like, oh, we're fine, no big deal. Now it's a fucking hour and forty-five. Okay. Uh, closing shoutouts. Start at the bottom, Xander. Uh, thanks to Remnant for the good games tonight. We wish uh, Sace had come on tonight to talk to us about his proclamation in the last war room that he was going to beat us down. I really missed uh, having a chance to ask him what happened. But... Okay. Good job, BSK. Uh, let's go up the ladder after that. Uh, Antonius. I have created the Federated Commonwealth in Proxus. Don't fuck with us. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the Alright, uh, uh, Bill, I guess that makes you next. <laughs> uh, my Follow shout outs to Carpenter, cause I love you, man. Thank you for doing all the shit in the corporation that I don't want to do. Uh, Nanner, why don't you take it? Yeah, uh, yeah, we still have the uh, Remnant Invitational. I know we're going to be, like, I don't know the exact times to go, you know, away for the week or for the uh, holidays, but we still got it going on. We're going to have a lot of fun. Thanks, BSK, for the great games, and thanks for running away from us in the second game. You know, we, uh, you really showed your colors. Uh, love you, Xander. Uh, and Siri Chan. Okay, I have two shoutouts. My first one, to Atkinson, for starting this whole fucking Siri Chan thing. You're fucking dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> My second one is the Twitch, you piece of shit. You deleted the recordings of the um, Our Heart Finals right when I was going to be casting them. Oh no. Ooh, nice, yeah. My yeah. Guys got Whoa, what? Yeah, I don't know if we have copies of that. How did they d- get deleted? That doesn't... The actual, like, the old recordings... The old broadcasts on Twitch were, like, not saved, even though they were toggled to be saved. Oh, that sucks. Okay, they, changed, the they changed a bunch of options in, in there, too. You know, like, you can't, uh, you can't throw, what is it, uh, 
passwords up and all kinds of fun stuff. So. Oh, yeah. Good thing I fucking instantly just sh- sh- like throw all my shit to YouTube so I don't have to worry about it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to end up casting that from Ara's point of view, but that's not very interesting. So, yeah, fuck you. Fun. <laughs> Oh, shout down to the fellow Asian oh, Canadian. That's oh. harsh. Um, I guess that makes me... Uh, thanks, everybody, for coming on. I appreciate it. You guys are all good guests. Good to have all of you. I think this is everybody's second appearance, or at least second appearance, if not third or fourth. Um, so thanks. It's good to have good, reliable guests. I pulled fucking Tony in here you know, 20 minutes before because we had a cancellation. So thanks to Tony. Thanks to everybody who watched. Um... News will be out on Monday. I'm trying to expand that, so and I'd like to get your guys' input on that at some point. But I want to do like pre-record. It is pre-recorded <laughs> now. Um, awesome. Okay, never mind. Yeah, get get fucked, Tony. Get fucked, Tony. Um, I'm out. I guess. But uh, <laughs> I want units like if, if units have like news and shit. So if you want to be like, check out how good my unit is doing. We're SJR and we just fucking stomp all over everybody. Blah 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 blah. Siri, if you guys wanted to do that and make like a quick video and send it to me, I'd play it every week and you could just thrust your e-peens out even farther. Um, Honestly, we don't do that. We just I know. let the record speak for itself. I know. It's it's still impressive. Uh, Otherwise we end up like Peef. Are you... Are you... <laughs> are you admiring his e Is that what you're saying? It's so big. And it's gigantic. I can't see it with all the thrusting. <laughs> don't forget the pushing. Oh yeah. Alright, we're fucking done. Uh <laughs> I'll see you guys on Monday for the news. I might try and cram in another episode. Otherwise, thanks everybody for coming on. It's been a blast and uh we'll see you after the holidays. Yep. Happy holidays. Later. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. <laughs>